Sacred Heart Renewal Center sat tucked away behind Billings Central Catholic High for a quarter century where it offered people of all faiths a quiet place to spiritually refresh themselves. But in the past few years, a shrinking number of people found time to make their way to the economical retreat center while the costs of keeping Sacred Heart open kept growing. Finally, on November 1st, the board of the 25-year-old center closed its doors for good. Three of the longtime board members couldn't let the air pass without taking a few moments to reflect on the ministry they felt blessed to be a part of. We hate to have it closed without a thank you to the Billings community for its support, said Bev Gormley, board member and previous director of the center. 25 years is a long time. Gormley sat down with the board chairman Jerry Hudson and Henry Stevens, another board member and former chairman, to reminisce about the retreat center. Sacred Heart Renewal Center opened in 1981 through the efforts of the Reverend Charlie Gorman, now retired and returned to Ireland. When the priest was transferred to St. Anthony's Parish in Laurel in 1986, unpaid volunteers and a few paid employees took over responsibility for running the retreat center. Gormley said that when she served as director, she attended regional meetings where others expressed amazement that a group of lay people could keep the billing center going. They were in awe that the lay community would want to take it on, she said. The center ministered to people in brief sessions and day-long retreats, covering a wide variety of spiritual topics and bringing in speakers from all over the country, Stevens said. Literally thousands of people have gone through here, he said. Sacred Heart was the only overnight retreat center in town which made it ideal for such gatherings as Priscilla's and marriage and engagement encounters. When the encounter ministry fizzled out, the center, which had an annual budget of about $200,000, lost a steady source of revenue. Gormley said one of the first retreats the center held had more than 100 people. The last one had 19 people. That's a big difference, she said. Hudson thinks one reason for the decline is a shift in society's focus. There is constant pressure to be doing something continuously, he said. It's more and more difficult to find time for retreats, even if we wanted to. Few, fewer people visiting retreat centers has become the universal problem of retreat centers, Stevens said. Those that are surviving are the ones that expand to meet other needs. Some have opened their doors as places for meetings or to serve as preschools, or they have seminaries or convents funding them. For its part, Sacred Heart tried different ways to fund the center, including well-attended Christian concerts, but it wasn't enough. The center, through the auspices of the Diocese of Great Falls Billings, was responsible for covering its cost of operations. The weight of that grew heavier over time, Hudson said. The building had become too unwieldy to be able to support, he said. It was big and old, with a boiler that would barely heat at times, and no air conditioning made it impossible to use in the summer. The board didn't all of a sudden decide to close the center, Hudson said. We went through a year-long discernment process with a focus on what are we going to do next not if we were going to close it. The group studied to see if it was possible to keep the center open. The group took four votes and three times we didn't make a decision because we didn't want to make the decision, he said. Finally, Hudson said, the board acknowledged the sad truth that it would be impossible to keep the center going. The diocese has not yet made a decision about what to do with the building. The Reverend J. Peterson said Friday, there's been some initial talk, said Peterson, the diocesan administrator, but we haven't had anything organized yet on what to do. We need to find out what's the best use of the building and see who the stakeholders are and see how we can utilize that facility. Though the retreat center has closed, part of it will live on. Sacred Heart housed an adoration chapel the only one in the area. For the past 12 years, hundreds of people from throughout the community 
came at all hours of the day and night to pray for the community and the world. The chapel is now temporarily housed at St. Thomas Church, and when St. Patrick's Co-Cathedral finishes work on its new parish center, the chapel will be housed there permanently. It's a relief that that's going to survive, because it is so important, Gormley said. What won't be lost in the building's closing is appreciation for the people who kept Sacred Heart open for so many years. I think the fact is, it was surrounded by the love of a lot of volunteers, and we want to say thank you for that support. Don't mind, we don't mind 